Hello RDs. Today I want to talk to you about wall damage. That's the reason we're looking at a wall. Now wall damage causes a lot of angst when we're checking people in, checking people out. And I just want to give the facilities perspective on wall damage. Now this wall has some scuffs and marks. We would absolutely consider this to be normal wear and tear, even this tiny little gouge here. We wouldn't consider this to be damage that needed to be noted at all on this wall. A little higher up, I have a couple of small chips on the wall, kind of fingernail sized chips here. This looks like furniture damage to the wall. We consider this normal wear and tear. It certainly is wall damage. We'll have to have a little bit of patching done before we paint it. But we'd like you to go easy on your residents about this. This is just, just what happens when you have a lot of heavy furniture in a small room with sheetrock walls. It's not intentional. It's not the result of kicking or hanging something. And it's just wear and tear. Now, harder to see on this wall, a little higher up, there are some words that have been painted over. I don't know exactly what they are. Someone uh, put some words on the wall. That's definitely um, wall damage that's intentional, that has to be painted over. The most important thing, though, to remember is we want to come in here, we want to paint this wall in little patchy areas. We call that process spotted cow. We do not want your residents to feel like they should be patching and painting. Uh, amateur painting causes a lot more work for us than those little marks on the wall.